This video is about long exposure photography, as I'm going to compare the Haida filter system to the Lee filter system. Welcome to my channel, here we talk about photography and I make videos just like this one where I review tools to take awesome long exposure photography like neutral density filter. So if you're here for the first time and you love photography like me, it might be a good idea to subscribe. It took me a while but I'm finally making this uh, neutral density filter video review. As you possibly know, I have been using the Lee filter system for over five years now. So, in order to be able to compare the Lee filter system with the Haida filter system, I had to use the Haida filters for a while. And that's what I did. As a matter of fact, if you saw my videos from Grand Teton National Park or Yellowstone National Park, all the images that I used in those videos have been taken using the Haida filter system. So now I have a better understanding of uh, how both systems work, which is pretty important if you want to make a video about them. This video is going to be structured in three parts. The first part is happening right now in the studio where I'm going to show you the two systems and their differences in terms of build and presentation. Then I will go out for the second part where I will take both systems to San Francisco, to the Golden Gate, to take one shot in order to be able to do the third part back here in the studio where we will put the images in Lightroom and compare side by side the results. I think this structure should help you to understand more about both systems and eventually help you if you are thinking to switch or upgrade or buy a new neutral density filter system. I'd like to disclose the fact that while I bought the Lee filters five years ago with my own money, instead I received the, the Haida filters from Haida. At the same time, this video is not sponsored by Haida. I'm not paid from Haida to say anything positive about them. First of all, let's see what I have here with me. On one side, I have uh, the Haida M10 77mm Essence Kit, which is made of a filter holder. And what is very special about this uh, filter holder is that it comes with uh, a polarizer filter, which slides in the system, in the holder, and uh, you will be able to change the polarization through this little wheel on top of it. I hope you can see it. That will help you to make your adjustment without moving anything because then in the front you will put your own filters. And if I don't need to use a polarizer, I can remove it and use uh, an empty slot in order to avoid any possible light leak. Then I have a 10 stops neutral density filter and also a 3 stops ND grad with a soft edge. 
So this is the complete kit. It comes with a lens adapter, 77 millimeters. Then of course you will need to get different lens adapter for lenses with different diameters ring, like uh, in this case I have a 58 and a 67 for my other lenses. The kit comes also with the possibility to add uh, a third slot. And as you saw, it's packaged in uh, this very nice little case. Both the graduated filter and the 10 stops neutral density filter come with uh, their own nice solid cases, which I won't use because as you possibly know, I use this super convenient pouch with uh, all the slots for all the filters. Let's have a look to the leaf filter systems instead. As I told you, I bought this system five years ago. This year, Lee Filter launched a new system, which is called the, the Lee 100. Uh, what I have is the older version. With this system, I don't have the possibility to add a polarizer onto the holder unless I buy a different kind of adapter. So until now, I've been using a, a slate circular polarizer which means that uh, I actually need to turn the entire system. I cannot just rotate the, the single polarizer. The kit came with uh, a 77 millimeter lens adapter. I have the 10 stops, so-called the big stopper from Lee, which has this uh, little uh, fabric behind it in order to avoid uh, any light leak. From Lee Filters I also have a three stops ND grad soft edge equivalent to what I have from Haida. And the first difference you will notice is that this is glass, this is plastic. In terms of build quality, uh, possibly because the Haida system is a newer system, I have to say that uh, uh, this feels better. The tag that you use to remove the holder from the lens adapter uh, is more convenient uh, and easier to use than the older Lee filter system. I'm sure that the Lee 100 system, the newer system, is possibly comparable to Haida, but there is instead a big difference when it comes to price. The Haida system that I show to you today cost about $495 on Amazon. Let me double check. $497 on Amazon. The equivalent system nowadays with the newer products from Leaf Filters on Amazon is $773 today. I think I said it all. So now let's go out and take some photos. Don't say darling, cause you'll fake it. I just arrived in Fort Baker. Behind me, as you can see, the Golden Gate. The sunset is going to be in uh, one hour. And so you see the beautiful light that is actually enhancing the red of the Golden Gate. And as I mentioned from the studio in this test, we are going to compare the two 10 stops neutral density filter. This is the Haida, this is the Lee filter. So let's start with the Haida neutral density filter. 10 stops, all glass, feels very good in your hand. At the same time, when I put the filter on, maybe because the system is new, it's a little resistant when I slide it in. But this can also give a sense of security. Something that I think is very interesting to notice is that on the Haida filter, there is a, a little fabric around the holder that basically is supposed to kind of clean the filter when you slide it in. I think it's a very cool feature. And as I show you in the studio, this is the tab that you pull in order to set the holder into the lens adapter. Here I go, nice and secure, easy to put it on, easy to take it off. 
And because I want to have a fair comparison, I'm not going to do an extreme long exposure because I want to have a similar light condition for both filters. So I will use a one minute exposure, F10, ISO 64. Don't say, darling, cause you'll fake it. Don't hide the tears, cause I know you're breaking. I'm putting away the Hyla filters and I will set up the Lee filter system. Of course, I will need to change the lens adapter because this will not fit the Lee filter system. And here I have the leaf filter holder. Slide in the 10 stops. Everything is already set. One minute exposure. Here I go. All this love and all this pain you've given. All this love Just finished the second uh, exposure. And from the camera display, I can see the dominant blue cast that the big stopper, the leaf filters, 10 stops, neutral density filter, always brings to my photos. Let's take these two images on the computer and uh, check the results, but also let's see how easy it is to work on these images in Lightroom. I just came back from the Golden Gate and imported the, the two images in Lightroom. As you can see, the files look pretty different. Both images have been shot with my 20 millimeter lens, 60 seconds, F10, ISO 64. This is the Hyda filter and this is the Lee filter image. Clearly, the Lee filter image has this uh, blue color cast. The Ida is uh, a little more true to color. At the same time, also the histograms are slightly different. Uh, this is the histogram of the Ida image. And uh, I can see that uh, in the leaf filters, the black spikes a little more compared to the Ida. While in the Ida image instead, are the whites that are spiking a lot more. As a matter of fact, on the left side of the first image, it seems that the buildings are a little more washed out compared to the Lee filters image where it seems there is a little more definition. Both the slightly washed out details or the blue color cast of the Lee filter image can be easily corrected in post in Lightroom. So for instance, let me show you how easy it is to adjust the white balance of this blue long exposure. Let's open the basic panel and pick the white balance selector. Ideally, we want to search for a, a neutral gray. I think I can find it right on this post in the water. And you can see right away that all the colors are now looking a lot more similar to the colors of the first image. And after these uh, super basic adjustments, we can see side by side both images. It seems that the Lee filter, the image on the right, has uh, still a little more blue and I can see on the Haida uh, a little more red in, in this shot. So it seems in the end that uh, the Lee filter image will need a few more adjustments in Lightroom in order to 
be compared and to be at the same level of the image that I took with the Haida filters. And to be honest with you, I am very impressed with the image quality of the Haida filters. And with such a big price difference, I feel that this is a very strong competitor in the neutral density filter industry. Let me give a little shout out to the histogram T from the photo T collection for sponsoring this video. If you want to get one for yourself or for your friend, you will find a link down in the description below. And this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this will help you to make a decision about what is the new filter system that you will buy. Thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.